Hello and welcome to this course. This is MB2715 certification course for Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement online deployment. So first of all, I would like to congratulate you for taking this course and I can promise you that if you follow across what I'm teaching you step by step, learn the theoretical part, learn the practical part and practice within Dynamics 365 then I can promise you that you will be able to pass MB2715 certification. So this certification is not just to pass the exam. That is not the objective. The objective is to teach you the step by step process and be familiar with the application so that if somebody asks you that what is there inside this course or what is there inside Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement online deployment, you should be able to answer and you should be able to explain, right? So that's my objective. So first of all, congratulations on taking this course. And I want you to take this one step at a time, learn everything, do not skip any video. So let me tell you what exactly is there in the course. So if you see, if you go to Microsoft Dynamics 365 MB2715 certification website from, of Microsoft, you will see this screenshot. So this is I have taken from there. You can see just below there's a red section which explains that what other topics will be covered. So I have designed this course to teach you the theoretical and practical concept of Dynamics 365 deployment and prepare you for the certification. So the course is structured in the similar way. Okay, so if you expand this first thing, like create a customer organization structure, you will see a lot of topics. And in this course, I have explained each topic in detail so that you will learn what is required for the certification. Plus, you will also understand the theoretical and practical concept of Microsoft Dynamics 365 deployment. So I'm really excited about this course. And I'm sure that if you follow the step by step process that I have laid down for you, you will be able to pass this certification and it will help you boost your profile. All right. So let me just tell you what exactly you will learn inside this course. So the first topic is create a customer organization structure. In this, you will learn the support for Microsoft Dynamics 365 client environment. It means what are the things that are required for you to run successfully Dynamics 365 and start using it. Right. So we'll talk about the requirements, the prerequisites and a lot of things in here. Then you will learn about deploy Microsoft Dynamics. So in this, you will learn about the additions of Dynamics 365 that is required for the client, the pricing, packaging, subscription, and also what are the deployment plan you need to create for your uh, client. Right. So this is what you will learn. Next, you will learn about the import data into Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment. So you will learn that what are the different ways you can import data within Microsoft Dynamics 365. Also, in case if you want to upload data from on premise to uh, the cloud version, the Dynamics 365, then what are the ways you can do it and also how to manage large volume migration using data loader service. So you will learn this inside this module. And the next one is manage the Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment where you learn how you can sign up, how you can cancel the subscriptions, how to manage users, how to manage security, SSO, single sign on, Active Directory synchronization, and also configure administrative access, right? So this is all about create a customer organization structure. I have created the structure same as the certification so that it's easy for you to follow and you can measure how much you are prepared. So once you complete this, the next one is administer the Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment. In this, the first thing you will learn is deployment of instances. You will learn about how can you deploy Dynamics 365 instances, uh, what is a deployment, what is sandbox production, and how can you configure the properties of uh, instances right after that the next one is managing instances so once you have deployed the next step is to manage right so you will learn how to switch an instance reset an instance delete copy and manage different regions so you will also learn about managing the resources and storage and other administrative email notifications so this includes all the things you need to manage dynamics 365 environment and finally you will learn to manage updates it means Microsoft has an update policy that allows Microsoft Dynamics 365 customers to upgrade or update their instance to the latest version. Okay, so that they can get the latest features from Microsoft. So you will will see the update policy will review see how can you review how can you approve and also in case if you want to skip how can you do that 
plus there are different options. So you will learn everything about updates in this topic. Okay, so once you finish administering, the next is integration of Microsoft Dynamics with other applications. So first one is integrate with Microsoft Exchange, SharePoint and OneDrive with Dynamics. So you will see how can the Exchange server synchronization works for incoming and outgoing emails. How can you manage folder based tracking, uh, the SharePoint integration, how can you use OneDrive with Dynamics 365 and how can you control structure and access for SharePoint. So this includes the SharePoint, Exchange and OneDrive integration with Microsoft Dynamics. The next one is other business solution integration with Microsoft Dynamics. In this, you will learn about OneNote, you will learn about Microsoft social engagement, Yammer integration, workplace collaboration with Office 365 groups, and also how can you manage Delve integration. So don't worry if you don't know what exactly these things are, I'm going to explain you in detail in the coming modules and videos, right? And once you learn that, the next one is integrate, customize and third party applications. So it means how can you integrate and customize third party applications using Microsoft Dynamics. So you will use app modules and you will also learn about the app source and power apps. So this includes the entire thing about integration of Microsoft Dynamics with other application. And the final topic is manage Microsoft Outlook and mobile environments. So in this, the first topic is integrate Microsoft Dynamics 365 with Outlook. So how can you use Outlook to increase productivity? And um, how can you deploy Outlook through multiple methods that are available? Plus also we'll see how can you connect to different instances? How can you configure synchronization fields? How to perform basic operations using Dynamics 365 app for Outlook? So there's a difference between Microsoft Dynamics 365 app and Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Outlook, right? So we'll talk about this in detail. So you will see how can you integrate Dynamics 365 with the app. And then you will learn about managing and configuring mobile apps for Microsoft Dynamics 365. So you will see what is the, about like Phone Express, what are the new versions of Microsoft Dynamics 365 for phones and tablets, and how can you configure entities and security privileges, plus how can you manage forms and dashboards within the app, right? So this is what you will learn in the final section. So once you have gone through these four sections, the next step would be to go through the exam preparation notes. Now, exam preparation notes are available after each section. So under each module, you will have uh, exam preparation notes. You learn from the video and then you go through the exam preparation notes to find the key takeaways from the video, right? And that will help you prepare for the exam. With the combination of learning from the videos, practicing and then going through the exam preparation notes, you will be 100% prepared for the certification, right? And finally, we'll do a quick review of this course. So I'm really excited for you and I'm sure that you will learn from this course. You will implement what I'm going to teach you. Plus you will prepare well and pass the certification. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video tutorial.